Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog here from Santa Fe, New Mexico. It is like nearly 8 in the morning right now and it is crazy cold outside. Um, I don't know if you can see but it has been snowing overnight. It is freezing over here. Um, it's just like crazy. You can see the top of our hotel is just covered in snow. Which I had no idea it even uh, snowed like this here in Santa Fe, New Mexico, or New Mexico in general. Um, anyways, uh, we are just about packed up. We just had a breakfast at our hotel. Um, was able to bum off their Wi-Fi last night and get some stuff done. Uh, and today we are off to uh, Denver, Colorado, which is, um, I don't know, like five to six hours drive, if I'm not mistaken. So, time to hit the road. Jersey Mike's for some lunch on the road. That's actually my first time there. Never been to Jersey Mike's, so we'll see how it is. So we're gonna be staying in Denver to be precise. I think we're here for a day, and this is actually like, we actually have time to go around and like, I think we're staying at my sister's friend's house, so we'll have like the day to actually go around, and tomorrow sometime to kind of explore and stuff like that. Uh, because like in the last couple places were in Arizona and New Mexico at least it was kind of just like a through and through outside of the Grand Canyon we just kind of like you know we would arrive late and then stayed in the hotel overnight and then pretty much out by early morning but Colorado is the first place that we actually got to get to stop and enjoy for a bit. All right so we're now officially in Denver. Um, we were earlier we were like an hour outside of Denver but we're now in the city uh, and it's interesting to be like surrounded by like in an actual city but at the same time be surrounded by these like crazy mountains that are like so close and like obviously you're elevated high up here in Denver. Um, but with all the snow around you it's like so wild to me because outside of um, my first time experiencing snow in the states was in uh, Tahoe. And then outside of that, yesterday when I was in Santa Fe, New Mexico, that's the first time I've seen just, like, snow out and about. And it, it was crazy. And then obviously being here in Colorado, like, just being completely surrounded by it, but still being within the city, it's, you know, uh, an interesting change of pace. And, and like I said earlier, we actually get to stay in Colorado for, like, pretty much the full day. I mean, it's, it, we got here at a good time. It's 3 o'clock right now, so we have the whole day ahead of us, and then we still have tomorrow. Um, and then I think, I'm not even sure where we're making our way to after Colorado just yet. I know we're going through like Kansas City and stuff like that, but I'm not sure exactly where we go from here. Um, but yeah, like versus Arizona where we went straight through it and then, you know, stopped by the Grand Canyon and Santa Fe, New Mexico where we just stopped for overnight uh, and then drove here early this morning. We get like time to actually uh, experience the city a little bit. Um, and, you know, I wish I had, we had time to do more like snowboarding or skiing or something like that but obviously this is more just a road trip or just passing through certain things so just to like take it in uh while 
uh, I can is, you know, good enough for me. I mean, outside of the weather, what is Colorado known for? I guess you, you have your dispensaries around, like, every corner, which is, like, crazy to a lot of people. And, then, you know, obviously the laws here are much more lenient when it comes to, like, recreational use. Um, but for me, coming from San Francisco, it's not that crazy because I, I'm that's, like, a daily occurrence out there in San Francisco, whether it's, like, the smell or just, you know, how more lenient they are with, with that whole thing out there and the dispensaries within the city. Um, but, you know, if that's... So what floats your boat that's out here too, I guess. Um, you know, when in Rome, I guess. <laughs> but uh, outside of that, like I said, I, I don't know exactly what else we have planned out for Colorado. We're, I know we're staying with a friend of hers. Um, and, you know, we'll just kind of see where it goes from there, really. I'm also excited for the fact that I get to, like, talk to you all more in this vlog. get to kind of just relax for a bit, update you on how the trip's been going thus far. Just because, like I said, in the last, or the most recent vlog, it's been more just, a majority of it has been driving. So a lot of what I do is just capture B-roll and, and apologize for that. But, I mean, other than me telling you, like, oh, here we are on the road again, like, not much is going on unless we're, like, passing, like, a state line or taking some break or something happens along the way. Um, but, you know, thus far, it, it has been great, you know, like I said earlier, going on this trip, coming from somebody who's who's only so far in the last year been used to California and just brand new to the states in general, um, it's nice to see that outside perspective. It's cool to kind of drive through these states and see the, the ways of life that people are living and getting by, whether like they're living in these cities or like these small suburb areas or like in the middle of nowhere seemingly, like in the desert and making by with like little or, you know, next to nothing and, and you know, hard work <laughs> and natural resources and all this stuff it, it really is cool to kind of see all of that and, and pass through all of it um and just kind of experience the different like climates and all of that for sure um and you know as far as the trip itself goes like i'm personally somebody who doesn't mind long trips i know there's people who don't like long car rides or flights i'm like the opposite coming from japan anytime i did fly i was so used to like 10 plus hour flights that i'm used to that and anytime it's like less than that it's not even that crazy to me um, cause to me it was like, crazy in the fact that I could leave Japan and be in the States within like less than a day. Like that idea was always like mind blowing to me. So like the fact that like we're driving through these States and all that, like I don't mind, like I don't mind the long, the weights and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's the only thing I would say is like, it, it makes definitely the day seem way longer <laughs> and it feels like we've been here or like been on this trip for like almost weeks on end, even though it's only coming up on a week now. Um, and I apologize if you hear my sister's dog running around the front seat whining. He's waiting for her to get back. <laughs> but, like I said, yeah, outside of that, nothing too crazy. I mean, um, let's see. The only major failures, I think, when I left SoCal, when I left my sister's house in SoCal, I forgot my, uh, my toothbrush, which was a hassle because that's like an electronic toothbrush. No, see, at first I forgot my charger leaving San Francisco, and then it died in SoCal, which wasn't a too much of an issue because you can still use it manually like a toothbrush. But then I forgot the whole toothbrush there. Didn't realize it till I got to uh, Arizona and then just bought like one from a gas station. So now like, and you know, obviously I'm going to all these other places. So um, probably just gonna order a brand new one by the time we get to Chicago and take that back with me rather than having my sister literally just, you know, mail me a toothbrush to San Francisco <laughs> or something like that. Um, you know, it's funny because when it comes to packing for me, like on trips long or short, I feel like I'm, I don't have that in between. Like I either, I'm that type of packer who either packs way too much for longer trips or I don't pack enough or, or, or I should say like or I pack just like very very minimal and, and bet on the fact that I'm just gonna buy stuff when I'm there and stuff like that definitely similar to this trip I, I, this is like the most minimal I've ever packed for a trip uh considering we're going through so many places um so yeah I just try to bring the bare essentials which is not something that I'm typically good at so yeah but, I mean, outside of that, I mean, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's a great to be on the road and, and all that and, like, being always, like, new places, you know, every single day. Um, that's fun and exciting, but I can also see how, like, um, for people who, like, travel, like, daily, like, I used to always, like, hear how people say, like, it can get tiring and all that. I'm like, man, like, how could it get, like, tiring going to a new place all the time and, like, that being your life? But then I can, I can definitely see that. Like, I, I do miss kind of, like being stationary and being settled in one place I miss having like my room and my office set up and all that stuff when it comes to work especially just because I'm one of those people who's so like where I work is so important to me and like that environment it creates even though like funny enough like majority of my work can be done anywhere 
I like to have that like that my space, so to speak. Mm -hmm.